Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about insurance companies, your homeowner's insurance, and some of the things that they may not cover when it comes to your heating and air system. And so if you've caught this video, we are doing a whole series check out that playlist on videos pertaining to your homeowner's insurance and your heating and air system. In today's video, we're gonna talk about three reasons the insurance company may not cover the HVAC failure or damage. But before we go any further, please click that like and that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, now we're gonna talk about three reasons your homeowner's insurance may not cover damage to your heating and air system. If you caught my last video, we did a whole video on all the things that if it happened, if that event happened to your home or your heating and air system, then your homeowner's insurance would replace your heating and air system at no charge to you. A free heating and air system covered by your homeowner's insurance. And so now we're going to talk about three reasons why they may not cover it. Number one, your policy so if you were to Google HO3 policy, that's typically the guideline, the format that most insurance policies follow. And then a lot of states and a lot of insurance companies independently may add or change some of the wording in there. So that would be the first thing when the insurance company may not cover a damage to your heating and air system. And that is that wording. One thing I would recommend, get a hold of your actual policy and find out what is the wording in that policy. A friend of mine who's in the insurance industry, we were talking about some of this, and I'm actually gonna put a link to his channel down in the description. He was telling me that a lot of policies are what they call open to interpretation. And sometimes they have to get lawyers involved on one side or the other, and they are to interpret that policy and whether or not they're actually gonna cover something for that homeowner. So that would be the first thing. Look at the wording in your policy and figure out, does this sound like it's going to cover uh, the damage that's been done to my heating and air system? Number two, insurance companies hire consultants, experts, and what they call public adjusters all the time to sort of back up the claim that they're not going to cover something. And what that reason is can differ, but what that adjuster or what that consultant is going to do is they're basically going to say, look, the insurance company is not liable. They don't have to cover this damage that's happened to your heating and air system for this reason or that reason. And they may even write it up and put it in writing. It's the insurance's get out of jail free card and their way to say to you, look, we're not going to cover this now. And then finally, number three, and that would be poor maintenance to the system. My friend I was telling you about was telling me that not only if they see a system that is poorly maintained, even if that covered event happens. So for example, let's just say your policy does cover lightning damage. So if you had a lightning storm and the lightning ended up damaging that heating and air system, the insurance company can look at the shape and how well maintained that heating and air system is and they can actually determine that they may not have to pay at all or they may pay a lesser amount. They may say, well, this system is in very sad shape. You were gonna have to replace soon anyway, and we're now not going to cover this fully. In a future video, we're gonna talk about some of the gray areas when it comes to whether or not they are gonna cover something, and this is one of those things, being that the system was either poorly maintained or it was just super old. He was telling me that there's even coverage that you can purchase from your homeowners insurance company that will cover your heating and air system more specifically and it even goes a little further in saying hey if these items now happen you're now going to be covered it's just extra insurance you can purchase in addition to your homeowner's insurance but he was telling me that that's still only a system that's a few years old you know they're not going to let you purchase that coverage and then have a system that's say 25 30 years old and you expect to get a brand new system out of them just because you had that coverage. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. Do you have a story of your insurance company and your heating and air system, or maybe not even about your heating and air system, but just a story about your homeowner's insurance? Put it down below. I'd be curious if it's a good story or bad story. Maybe they were able to step in and help you out, or maybe they weren't willing to. Anyway, I hope that helps. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.